In this video, we're going to make Disney's Enchanted Apple Cocktail. Welcome back to Thirsty Thursday. I'm Mark. This is the Average Me Channel. And we are taking you back to Walt Disney World. And we are going to make Disney's Enchanted Apple Cocktail. Now this cocktail is a special house cocktail. It's served at, let's see, Storybook Dining at Artist Point with Snow White. And that is at Wilderness Lodge. Don't ask me to say that again because it's too much to remember. But I have been there and it is really a wonderful dining experience. If you like character dining, you're going to see Snow White. You're going to see the witch. Oh my goodness, she is so imposing. You are going to see, I think we saw Dopey and Grumpy when they were there. And they walk around and you can pose for pictures with them. And if I have a little video, I am going to insert it here so you can take a look at what it is. But uh, really, really fun. And they have several cocktails there that are specialties for that storybook dining at Artist Point with Snow White, which is at Wilderness Lodge. <laughs> so we're gonna start with our uh, cocktail glass. Now, they don't have that Z stem glass, but I like to use it. But they do have the sugar rim, and this is slight cinnamon sugar. Um, not a whole lot, but just enough to uh, give it a little bit, a little bit of color, a little bit of flavor, um, aroma, but not much at all, mostly just sugar. How do you get it to stick to the rim? that thick. There it's even thicker than I made it. I actually took clear corn syrup, like Caro syrup, and I spread it along the rim and that's how I got this sugar to stick. If you just get it wet, the sugar is just going to melt and clump and it'll stick in some places. So that's a really good hint if you want to make a sugar rim. So what are we using today? We are going to use Sky Citrus Infused Vodka. And it's actually called Sky Infusions Citrus, is actually what it's called. This is per the menu at Storybook Dining. And we're going to use our Day Cooper Pucker Sour Apple Schnapps, um, Sour Apple Liqueur. I've used this in a, a couple of cocktails over the past month. This is also, everything I'm doing today is per uh, the menu. So we're having all the correct ingredients. And the last ingredient, white cranberry juice. Now, I made uh, another Disney cocktail about a year ago, a little longer than that, I was still in Wisconsin. And we could not find the white cranberry juice, so I'm really excited that we're able to find that. And we have all the accurate ingredients in order to make this cocktail. Now the last, just when I said all the accurate ingredients, uh, this does have a garnish of an apple and it doesn't specify any specific apple, but I can tell you that uh, when we were there, they did have a red apple. Uh, we're using a green apple today. What I love about this, when you cut through the core, you get that little star. That's really cool. So that'll make a, a really nice garnish for our cocktail. We're also going to use a strainer shaker. Now, if you'd like, you can use the, the spring um, strainer if you'd like. I'm just going to use a, a straining cap for this. And we're going to start with our white cranberry juice. Now, it does not take much of this at all. I'm just going to put in a half an ounce. That's all you really need, certainly, not any more than a half ounce. Then we're going to use an ounce and a half of our sour apple schnapps. And this does a number of things. It gives you that sour apple, but it also gives you a, a lot of the sweetness that you'll want in this cocktail. And finally, our Sky Infusions Citrus. Brand new fresh bottle. That's a big bottle too, isn't it? 
Glug, glug, glug. And we're going to use two ounces of that. So we have what, two ounces, ounce and a half, that's three and a half, a half an ounce, that's four ounces of beverage here. And these are, like I said, straight off of Disney's menu. As far as the ratio, I did that myself based on similar cocktails and the standard ratios for cocktails. All right, time to shake the devil out of this thing and let it get nice and chilled. All right, I always have to rub my hands together because I get so cold doing that shake. And we have our prepared glass. We pour in the cocktail. And for our garnish, a very thin slice of apple. And there it is. What a beautiful cocktail. As you know, I am very fond of saying so much of a cocktail is in the presentation. And this presentation is just gorgeous. We're going to pause now so I can get myself a picture and then we'll give it the old taste test. All right, we are back. I went through my whole tasting and I realized I didn't turn my camera back on. Darn it. I have to taste this cocktail all over again. Actually, I want to talk a little bit about the presentation. Um, having that sugar rim, having the apple uh, floating in the martini, all of that is really important to the presentation. You can just have a typical run-of-the-mill cocktail. You wonder why they can sell these things for $15 and $18 rather than just seven or eight. A lot of it is the presentation. It's the story behind it. Yeah, we're using some more expensive, like it's not really expensive. This is not what I would call top shelf, but really most of it comes from the story and the presentation. And having that apple and having that sugar rim, it counts for so much. Now, when I bring that up to my mouth, I'm smelling that apple. I talked about this in previous videos and oh, it so enhances the flavor. Same thing goes for that sugar rim. Um, there are so many flavors at work here because we have the citrus from this uh, Sky Citrus Infused Vodka. We have the De Cooper. I had to look that up to make sure I knew how to pronounce that. De Cooper uh, Pucker Apple Schnapps. Now we'll talk about this white cranberry juice in just a minute, but let's give this a taste. Mmm. Now that is good. I'll tell you, when you're done with the cocktail, you take a bite of that apple and that apple has a whole different flavor as well. Um, but this is really a great cocktail because it's very smooth, but it has so many flavors, so many things going on. You can taste the citrus. Even though I didn't use any lemon or lime, you get the citrus because of uh, this vodka. And of course you get the sour apple from this. Why is it not too sour? It seems like with citrus and sour apple, you'll get a little, lot of sour to it. And that's where a cran apple or cranberry, I'm sorry, juice comes into play. What else cran apple would work? It is an apple cocktail. But notice we didn't use too much of this. This is what I would make my adjustments with. So if you felt that this was too harsh or too strong, I wouldn't mess too much with the ratios of the vodka and the schnapps. What I would do is add a little more or take a little uh, away from that white cranberry juice. I think that's going to have a significant impact in the taste balance of this cocktail. So I hope you enjoy this. And if you've ever been to the, am I gonna get it right this time? Storybook dining at Artist Point with Snow White, which is at Wilderness Lodge. If you've ever been there, let us know down below or any character dining at Disney. Uh, those are wonderful experiences. They cost a little more, but I'll tell you, that's a meal you're gonna remember for a long, long time. You know, if you stop somewhere else and have a meal, it's just another meal, you know, that you have five, six, seven hundred of them every year. 
But when you have these special character meet and greet, they stick with you. And whether you have this cocktail or something else, um, it really is a great experience. I'd love to hear from you. Or if you try this drink, let us know as well. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. It's up there somewhere. That way it will remind you when we post new videos. But you'll remember anyways, because we're always here with Thirsty Thursday on, no surprise here, Thursdays. Thanks for joining me. See you back here next week. Bye-bye.